Hello, welcome to Insects for Life, the podcast of ICIPE, the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology. I am Liz Nganga. <laughs> After finishing school, we had no jobs. We stayed at home doing nothing. We would wake up, then go to sleep. We, would, we had no ideas about work or about beekeeping or the benefits of honey product. But now we have learned a lot. We have peace of mind, we are living free and independently. A powerful testimony of transformation by Abeba Mebrate on how her life has been transformed by the Moyesh project. In this podcast, we learn more about this initiative. What is Moyesh and what is its vision? Wokni Ayelo, the ECP project coordinator of Moyesh, explains. Moyesh is a five-year uh, development-oriented project to generate dignified and fulfilling jobs for unemployed uh, young women and men. Uh, supported uh, by the MasterCard Foundation uh, and public institutions that partner with us. Now, we are now in the, at the end of the second year of the five year program. And in this program, uh, we set out to generate up to 100,000 uh, jobs along the value chain. Tell us a little bit about how you select the youth to benefit from this project. In our context, it's not just the officially registered unemployed youth. We also uh, seek to engage unpaid labor in rural households and underpaid labor, especially women. Take us through the training process of the Moyesh Youth Partners. They will come up with forming enterprises in 10 users in one group. And after forming these 10 uh, users in one group, they will come up with, you know, uh, opening a use account uh, in microfinances, and then following that, you know, uh, they will come up with, you know, a register, uh, register data set to our program, and finally uh, we organize trainings for them into round in technical skill development training on agriculture as well as on sericulture, and also on the uh, entrepreneurship skill development part. And I took two types of training, and then we were provided with all the necessary inputs for beekeeping. So from being jobless, I am now engaged in work. I have learned numerous things. Besides the work, I am now gaining very much from this job. What are some of the highlights of the Moyesh project so far? So they prepare refined table packed honey, packed table honey. They also can aggregate, process, refine, and prepare uh, beeswax. Uh, and in addition to that, through the complementary uh, sideline businesses, they can produce uh, seedlings, they can produce uh, spices, they can produce uh, also other uh, crops that they, they can uh, manage on the land. Uh, and in this particular site, they are also using the additional uh, feed uh, on the land uh, to feed uh, some sheep and goats. One of the most significant components of ECPS intervention in terms of uh, bringing change in the youth livelihood is primarily related with the entrepreneurship skill development part, which brought significant change in the mindset of the users. Uh, the users are most of the time, they are you know, impacted by uh, this dependency syndrome. So uh, nowadays, due to our continuous intervention on training on the entrepreneurship skill capacity development, Training, we have brought a dynamic shift towards you know enabling them to do their business by themselves without having any kind of support from the program or from any uh, partners from the public and they are now you know doing uh, various sideline businesses for example you know they, they took loan from the public using the program revolving fund and they started their you know, sideline business as well as they are expanding their uh, culture business as well and they are producing, you know, uh, good quality honey, around 70 kg in this particular case. And if you are uh, taking the experience from the western part of our agriculture program, one enterprise alone can produce 
up to more than 200 kg in a single harvest then they can make a lot of money out of it so the business nowadays you know pays the users with monetary value the public itself is getting a lot of experience from Mr. Pay because we've been providing consistent training for the public experts. Theory training on apiculture as well as on entrepreneurship skill development trainings. Now those trainers of the public, nowadays they are serving as you know, a master trainer for our users. So we are employing the public institution experts as a master trainer for our users. So that knowledge capital is now retained at the public level. Now they are using our those, those uh, QT training, trainers into another trainings. So really, ECP is laying the foundation in terms of you know, living uh, soft skill knowledge and attitudinal shift in terms of you know, uh, uh, bringing dynamic change in job creation. Beekeeping is traditionally not a female occupation. How has Moyesh project changed this perspective? Uh, it is a real challenge, uh, at least in some parts of the country, that beekeeping, uh, the traditional way where the hives, the traditional hives are hung up on the tree, is not considered to be a proper job for, for women. But for us, because we advise them to set up proper apiaries on the ground, uh, and because we, we train them properly on how to manage and establish uh, successful beekeeping practices, the women can equally practice beekeeping without any hindrance. And we also use uh, model female beekeepers to speak to these unemployed females, uh, to demonstrate to them how well they can do it themselves without any, any particular challenges for them. Uh, but through time, we, are, we have convinced the communities, and as uh, the numbers can show, up to 60% of our direct beneficiaries are now women. As women, when we became engaged in this activity, we had many challenges from our homes and the community in general. How can a girl leave in the morning and come back in the evening? What kind of activity is this? It was all very new, and hence, from home and outside, it was difficult. But now, that challenge has been removed by the results of our work. Our strength is being seen by other women who are also wishing for the same. Our families have also changed because they see the impact and others want to join. How is the Moyesh project evolving into a model for a One Health approach? We work very closely with the uh, public institutions, in, in particular the uh, uh, district and zonal administration, uh, the extension services, public extension services, and all offices that support youth employment uh, in, in anywhere we operate. Uh, so the, we, we work with them to allocate suitable land like this one for unemployed youth to start their businesses. In, in partnership with the public institutions, uh, we get them to uh, have a land, a dedicated land of this type, uh, that they can use for at least five years. As you see, this area is very um, degraded. Uh, it used to be a quarry, so it's a wasteland. So the best chance it has without this project is to be to become a communal grazing land. But uh, having beekeeping overlaid on it and protected for this purpose would also facilitate rehabilitation of this land. The vegetation can can come back, and the bees can make uh, uh, not only just honey and beeswax, but they can also help other vegetations uh, to seed and uh, the vegetation cover can improve over time. If uh, the ecology allows and mm. the cultural other norms are, yeah. are not mm. a barrier, as mm. happens in some parts of the country, mm. we can also introduce the insects for feed in this area. Mm. And feed, that yeah. can, uh, can be integrated with poultry farming. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, mm. Aquaculture may, may be a bit of a problem because of the limitation in water, mm. but if we can get water, mm. areas can, this can easily be used to make uh, good ponds. Yeah. Uh, and if aquaculture and poultry farming are realistically uh, a worthwhile opportunity here, then the insects for feed can be integrated here. In addition to that, uh, through, the, um, through the IPM project, we have seen the merits of uh, Desmodium and Brachiaria being integrated in very degraded uh, landscape like this one. They not only support beekeeping, 
they can also facilitate rehabilitation of the land itself. So that producing heat, helping the soil rehabilitate, can also integrate livelihood with environmental rehabilitation. So um, human health, environmental health, and we can also bring in animal health into, into this picture. Insect sciences to generate such jobs for unemployed uh, young women and men, not just in Ethiopia, but also uh, in other countries in Africa. So the models that we demonstrate and prove here can be used to support other needy countries in Africa. This program is very interesting and stress-free. It is a great program. I want to continue working in it until the end. From my heart, I thank everyone who has made it possible. I say thank you, not only for myself, but on behalf of the group. We thank Abeba Mebrate, Wokne Ayelo, and Henok Machal for this informative conversation. We thank MasterCard Foundation for their partnership in Moyesh project. For more information, visit www.moyesh.ecp.org. This podcast was produced and directed by Brian Washi and Dezalen Tadese with voiceover translation by Liana Ngodo, all of ECP. Mm-hmm.